Welcome to Ask a Bestselling Author. My name is Angela Loria. I'm the founder of the Author Incubator and creator of The Difference Process for Writing a Book That Matters. I am joined today here at the Author Castle by Danielle Miller. She is a best-selling author, branding expert. You can find her book on Amazon. It's called Smarty Pants Branding. Um, our topic today, though, is really about rebranding. And one of the questions that comes to me frequently is, is there a way, if you're shifting your brand, to use a book as sort of a cornerstone of a rebrand campaign? So I know you've done a lot of rebranding. What do you think about working a book into a rebrand? Yeah, I, that's a, absolutely, because I think what happens oftentimes when people start out, um, there's a lot of shoulds and expectations about what they should be doing, how they should be showing up. Um, and so they try to put themselves in these neat little boxes around what they think is expected of their role. So, you know, for example, I, I worked with a client who uh, started out in bookkeeping and it was very safe and conservative and what she thought people wanted about a bookkeeper. But as we dove in a little deeper and we rebranded, we her edginess came out, her fun side came out, her more natural side came out. Um, and, and it was a really wonderful thing to see because it made her message so much more clear because there wasn't this stigma attached to what she should be doing. So that's so powerful when you write a book because you get to show up as yourself. Okay, so what if I'm rebranding and the way I'm gonna rebrand is I'm gonna change my colors from black and gold to pink and purple? Okay, why? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's really why are you doing that? Right. You know? And I think a lot of times when people come to me and they're like, oh, I'm rebranding, I need a book, mm -hmm. they're really saying I need a new book cover so it matches my website. Right. How important is it to have a book cover that matches your website? You know, again, I'm, I've already written, written one book. I'm going to probably be writing another one. Um, but <laughs> it's going to be different from the first book. It's not going to be the same because branding is an evolution. It's a growth. It's a journey. You know, Angela has a program called Book Journeys. And it's everything that you do is a stepping stone to the next thing. So it's okay if you want to grow and evolve. That's expected. That's natural. It doesn't mean you throw away the work that you've done. That's important to getting you where you want to be. Um, but you can certainly, you know, move on to the next level. Um, and take your people with you. That is probably the biggest thing is when you're evolving and growing, take your people with you. So Love they that. know they know that. They understand where you're going. Let them know. Let them in on your journey. Uh, creates that emotional connection with them. But a true rebrand is a lot deeper than your fonts or colors. Absolutely. So Absolutely. if you're going to use a book for that, I would say do that deep work that you talked about. I know that client is actually in your book. So if you mm -hmm. read Smarty Pants Brandon, you'll yes. see more about this. Yeah. But if you do that deep work, work then if it makes sense to have a book it's going to come out naturally there's going to be a strategy behind it rather than another should right like i should do this because people have books right exactly exactly and so and that and that makes so much sense because really when you rebrand you're looking at does is your platform changing is your message changing is it deepening in some way has it evolved to a degree and that's really what you want to be looking for in a rebrand Awesome. If you have questions about rebranding, using a book as a part of your rebrand, go ahead and drop them below. Give us a little thumbs up. We like a like or a love or, I don't know, a smiley face, whatever you got. React to this and, um, and share this with people who you know that are going through a rebrand because there is, this is just the tip of the iceberg in this conversation just to get you thinking about how to approach your rebrand. We will be back with another episode of Ask a Best Selling Author, so keep an eye out.